Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. As you can see behind me, it is cherry blossom season. Everything here looks so beautiful. There are pink trees everywhere in the parks. And in this season in Japan, you can find tons of cherry blossom themed sweets. And basically, everything is cherry blossom themed. So today, I'm gonna go check out a really high end little cafe near Nakameguro Station in Tokyo, which is called Oat Couture Cafe. And they're known for having a really beautiful setup with cherry blossom trees inside the room. They're not real cherry blossom. Blossom trees, but it looks really beautiful. And I'm gonna be trying a cherry blossom themed afternoon tea. It's super popular, so I'm gonna go see it today if it's all worth the hype. So let's go check it out. I've now arrived at the cafe. It's right next to the Nakameguro River, which is known for its amazing cherry blossoms. They're not quite bloomed yet, but the cafe is. Look at that cafe. You can see all of the cherry blossoms through the window. I can't wait. Let's go inside. Ooh. Oh, here we go. It's the Haute Couture Cafe. Oh my goodness, there's so many flowers. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, wow, look at this room. It's like walking into a dream. Wow, there are flowers everywhere. The decor is unbelievable. It's like being inside of a, a cherry blossom park, <laughs> like at the beginning of the video. Wow, this is so, it feels kind of surreal in here. Look at this. The table setup is so beautiful. There's cherry blossoms on everything, all of the sweets and the amuse bouche, they look impeccable. Oh my goodness, look at this setup. This is so gorgeous. Everything here is cherry blossom themed. The food and also all of the, the plates and the dishes, like this adorable teacup. And even, to show you this, the cherry blossom plates. I love that. この店っていついつ頃オープンしたんですか? こちらが去年の3月にオープンさせていただいております。ちょうど1年ぐらいですね。最初からこういうスタイルで。あの、オープンしてたんですか去年はえ、こういった内装はなくて、外の桜だけは楽しんでいただければカフェだったんですけども、あの、今年から桜の方、え、店内を満開にさせていただいております。わあ、素敵ですね。で、これ、季節ごと
This is like all of my favorite things in one little cup. I have a feeling so far that everything on this table is gonna be all of my favorite things. <laughs> I should have come here with a friend, like just to enjoy this. And with somebody is probably the perfect way to do it. But this way I get everything to myself, so I'm not complaining. Okay, next, why don't we mix it up and try something sweet? Sakura Mont Blanc. Look at that, it's a, a mini Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc is generally like a, a chestnut dessert. They're really popular in Japan. You will see tons of Mont Blancs. Is this a one bite thing? It might be a little messy. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Wow, I'm really pleasantly surprised by this. The cookie tastes kind of like an oatmeal cookie. That's not what I was expecting. I love it, it's very crumbly. And the Mont Blanc is faintly strawberry flavored. That's really good. Can I eat all of this by myself? I'm starting to wonder. I kind of want to go matcha mousse. Here we go. Mmm. The matcha has a faint, you know, bitterness of green tea. It's not bitter, but it offsets the sweetness a little bit. So this is a nice, nice palate cleanser. Mm. Now I think I wanna try this one. My cherry blossom tea. You can see a real cherry blossom floating inside. It smells so nice. Whenever I drink cherry blossom tea, I feel that reminds me a little bit of soup. Like, it's kind of like a, a dashi broth almost which is really bizarre, but don't think of it too much as like a tea, more of just like a warm soup or a warm drink. It's very good. Let's go with the croquette, shall we? You feel like this? That's lovely. Very flavorful. And the inside of the croquette itself is really pillowy and fluffy and almost a little bit juicy. Is this not heaven? Have I died? Okay, let's pick our next one. We're gonna go here. This is so cute. Ah, oh, I love macarons. Here we go. Mmm. This is so nice. It's a little bit fruity, refreshing, but you get this wonderful cherry blossom fragrance to it. It's really lovely. Mmm, I could eat this all spring. Next, I really, really want to try the Oshiruko. So this is probably, I think, the most exciting part of the show right now. And what we're gonna do is mix the cherry blossom red bean paste and it should turn into a nice, thick, sweet soup. Okay, this is shiratama, which are little mochi balls and some strawberries. Here we go. This is actually my first time trying a cherry blossom oshiruko, so let's see how it tastes. Here we go. Mmm. The strawberries complement it so nicely. This one's a little bit milder than what I'm used to. It's very easy to eat. Also, the Oshiruko soup tastes like cherry blossoms. It really does. Okay, next I want to do the crepe. Apparently it is a Sakura Mochi crepe. Let's give it a try. I love this strawberry edition. Itadakimasu. I think this is a cherry blossom leaf. And we often use these in traditional Japanese desserts and they're, they're pickled cherry blossom leaves that are salted. So it's a little bit salty. And there's also red bean paste. <gasps> there's cherry blossom mochi at the bottom. All right, so I've had a lot of sweet things. I'm feeling it's time to mix it up with something savory. So my last one to try for savory is this mini hamburger. One thing I'd like to say is that Japan really, really loves 
seasonal foods. Japan does seasonal foods incredibly, not just cherry blossom themed foods, but they love to use the freshest ingredients from each season. So right now, of course, spring vegetables. They are using the vegetables that you can get right now in this season. We've got a little bit of radish and it looks like asparagus. And of course, a little slice of cheese. And a nice thick patty on what appears to be a cherry blossom hamburger bun. Ooh, I hope I can eat this neatly. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Really juicy beef hamburger. And the, the cheddar cheese, also there's kind of a creamy sauce on top which blends it all together nicely. The asparagus is a really nice touch as well. You know, I have to say I am gradually starting to get full. This is a pretty solid serving for one person. The layout for today, by the way, is for two people. You can get a single serving size, which is only one of each, but we thought it would look prettier with two servings. But even just one serving is, the amount looks small, but it's surprisingly filling. So I'm like, can I eat all of this? I will do my best. <laughs> so let's look at the next one. Why don't we try our last afternoon tea item on the plate. Sakura gelée and panna cotta. Okay, so the gelée is the part on top which looks kind of like a jiggly jelly with strawberries inside and then a wonderful creamy looking panna cotta. Jiggle! I love jiggly things. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm, that is delicate actually. It has a much milder flavor than I was expecting. It's not very sweet at all. Now it's time to move on to kind of our main courses. This is mousse au chocolat amao strawberries, which are a very delicious brand of strawberry. Cheesecake, it smells fruity and sweet. Mmm, here we go. Ooh, mmm, that is creamy. That's wonderful. It's got lovely like strawberry jam in there, slices of strawberry, gelée, so many textures. It's lovely if you love cheesecake for sure. Strawberry cheesecake, very tasty. Final one. Mont Blanc. It is now time for our final dessert item of the day. This, by the way, doesn't come with the cherry blossom afternoon tea set, but there is a seasonal version every month that you can order. And I think in the summertime they have like matcha filling. This time it's strawberry. I think it's gonna be amazing. I don't think I've ever seen a more decadent Mont Blanc before. Let's give this a try. Hmm, whoa, stop the presses or start the presses because hazelnut spread on Mont Blanc is a game changer. I've never tried that before. Maybe some of you have. Let me know if you've tried anything like this before because honestly, every Mont Blanc I've had has been kind of like the one that I just tried there. Um, there might be a little bit of cake, chestnut cream on top, but chocolate or hazelnut spread is a first, and that really adds a whole new element to the flavor. Let's take another bite. Well, this about wraps up my afternoon tea experience at Haute Couture Cafe, and everything, I must say, was exquisite. The attention to detail and the attention to just taste and deliciousness was on point. Everything was so incredible and the atmosphere absolutely stunning. I've just been surrounded by flowers this entire time. So please let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to check out this cafe because I know I'll be back again next month for sure to enjoy the wisteria blossoms. So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe and we'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye guys!